The Delta, part one. Amira's point of view. I wake up, feeling genuinely well-rested for the first time in a hot minute. There's an arm draped around my waist that's holding me snugly to my most dominant mate. I smile to myself at how Damon listened to me being a little bitch and still validated me. Still showed me the love that I'll never admit I so desperately want. I slowly untangle myself from his hold, but he lets out a low growl. Don't you know not to run away from a wolf? He questions, opening his eyes. I thought you were asleep, I admit, giving him a small smile. I was, until you assumed you were free to leave me as you please. Taking a hold of my arm, he pulls me back so I'm cuddling him. My leg and arm are both draped over his torso. One of his hands cuffs my ass, and the other is around me, holding me securely to him. I lay there for a few minutes, head on his chest, reveling in the feeling of just being with him. A knock on the door sounds, and I shift my leg to get off the bed, but Damon grabs it in a firmer grip. Mine, he growls in my ear before beckoning whoever's at the door to enter. The nanny carefully steps in, offering Damon and I a warm smile. Mita's been a bit fussy, and I think she needs her mother and fathers. Erebus and Christian are busy with border patrols right now. But would you like to check on her? I tensed at the words mother and father. Sister and sister's mate, I correct. The nanny's eyes widen. Of course, my apologies. With that, the nanny turns to leave. This time, when I remove myself from Damon's arms, he doesn't pull me back, instead standing up to go check on Mita with me. We walk to the nursery hand in hand, and I see Mita lying in the nanny's arms. But as the nanny described, she's crying. Has she been fed and changed? I question, walking up to take her from the woman's arms. Yes, Luna, of course. I carefully pick up Mita, and as soon as she's settled in my arms, she quiets down. I pepper her head with kisses. It's all right, baby. I'm here now. Mita smiles at me before turning her attention to Damon and holding out her hands in a nonverbal gesture of wanting to be held. A smile breaks out on my face as I realize truly how much Mita's coming around to my mates. She's proven to want equal time with me and them. To an extent, I feel horrid leaving her with a nanny. But at the same time, I can't spend all my time with her. At the end of the day, she isn't my daughter, and I 